What's going on, YouTube? I bet you're wondering what in the world I'm doing. No, I'm not changing lawnmower blades. No, I'm not sharpening lawnmower blades. Contrary to what you think, I actually use this lawnmower to cut, I'd probably say about three and a half acres. Three acres, maybe. Somewhere around there. It's a 42 inch deck Cub Cadet LTX 1040. My parents bought a new lawnmower, so they graciously donated this one to the farm. And let's just say it's a little rough on it. Last weekend, I decided I was going to cut grass for the first time this spring and wound up hitting a log not a not a twig not a stick but a log about that big around so that's what we're here today to do hopefully i can get my arm up in here loosen this this nut this bolt and uh take this blade out and get this stick off one of the many chores i've got around here to do so Bear with me. This is what I was talking about. Ugh. So hopefully I can... Oh yeah, that was a whole lot easier than I thought. Burn pile. Now to figure out which way it went back in. Guess I'll look at the other one. For those that are curious, half inch drive and a 15 16 socket should do the trick on this Cup Cadet. Um, not sure where the dryer sheet came from, but it's in the yard too. So that log, like I say, was jammed just in the corner. So I got kind of lucky. Uh, so it didn't really tear up the blade too bad, what was already tore up. And uh, so like I say, it, it, it got into it a little bit, but not too bad. We're gonna throw this on the, the burn pile. Actually, I'll throw it over here with the scrap wood for right now. And uh, like I say, now that this is ready to go, I'll fill it up and uh, hopefully cut some grass today. I got a few other things I need to do. Obviously, I need to clean up a little bit in here, but uh, got some other projects and things like that as well. Um, but That's just part of life. Um, some, something that the wife kind of bought randomly uh, the other day off the internet. And I can do a better review of this because I'm just kind of doing this 
because I saw the box, but, you know, I'd like to get rid of the box, but thought that y'all might want the video, so, um, can't really get it to stay up, so I'll just do it like this. It's one of those Plano yard storage tool things type deals, whatever the case may be. Uh, I think we got it for right around 15 bucks, 12 bucks. It was fairly cheap. Uh, like I say, I try to do everything I possibly can on the cheap as far as any kind of storage or whatever the case may be. Uh, says it holds all these different tools, whatever. The dimensions are right there for you guys if you need to need to see those. I'll hold still for just a second. But uh box comes, it's pretty light, a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, basically, it just comes in, what I'm going to say, five different pieces. You've got the, the bottom part here, which is plastic. These tubes, there's one right there, one in the back in the middle. And then one up here, obviously. So that's three, four, and then the top part makes it five pieces. Doesn't come with instructions, but who needs instructions when there's no bolts or screws or anything like that to actually to actually use? Um, basically, you just take the posts, stick them on each end of the designated holes that they give you, and it's it's, it's done. Literally took me like five seconds to put it together. So this right here is what i used to have with all the stuff laying up against the wall here or hanging on the wall i actually was able to get it to all fit right here which was kind of nice the one complaint i have about the thing is the more stuff bigger stuff you add to it Obviously, the heavier it's going to be, and this plastic isn't really the most durable plastic. It's, as you can see, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's not as tough as their some of their totes and things like that. So that kind of disappointed me, especially when I started to try to scoop the thing back towards the wall. Once I got everything in it, it kind of started bending on me a little bit. So that kind of scared me. I think one way to... Obviously, one way to to combat that would be to make it out of more durable plastic. But that's going to make it more expensive. I understand that. And then the other thing is to make it actually a little bit taller to give it more support so that these tools can actually stand up more so instead of lean back. Um, the reason I leaned them back is to keep them from coming back out. I'd rather be on the safe side and let everything fall that way than all my tools fall this way because of all the extra weight. But you can see it's holding my uh, electric pole saw. It's holding my other hand saw, three different shovels, two different hoes. I mean, it's, it's holding a good bit of weight right there. Um, the only thing is I didn't get my weed eater in there, which supposedly they say it can hold that, but the, the motor would take up so much room down at the bottom, I didn't even want to fool with it. So, uh, like I say, it really did clean up my my garden center that I've always called it. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm just trying to utilize some things and uh, this crate actually came from somebody when I bought all these extra pallets that you see over here. And so I decided I was going to use that to Store all my chemicals, my blowers, anything that's just random that kind of sits there. Uh, I put my gas cans in there um, when when I'm actually organized. So, uh, like I say, just wanted to give you that update around the farm as well and uh, show you the benefits to having it. Like I say, it, it works well for what it does as long as you're not going to move it around so much or if you like say you're not using it on the daily if you're using it on the daily I would probably make something out of wood it'd probably be a little bit sturdier for you um, so if you're like a landscaper or something like that where you've got guys coming into your shop and uh, actually taking the stuff and putting it on the truck and then taking it back off whatever the case may be on that end 
like I say, I'd probably make something out of wood. But if you're just a homeowner like I am, uh, the occasional gardener, whatever the case may be, landscaper around your house, it, it works. It works phenomenally for that. Um, so now that we've got that done, what else can I do? Oh, there's tons. But right now, we're gonna put you on hold and let y'all wait for the next video. And hopefully it'll be a good one. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we hope you like these video series. Take care.